Hi, I'm Johnny Engineer Termel, grade 17 in science, four extra years in the mathematics of gambling, known as the Taj Professor and the Great Canadian Gambler. And with the same education as Mr. Spock, science, and he always came up with the odds. And I'm not going to lay to rest the story of a non-spherical or a flat Earth, because it's easy to prove. Newton found that the force of attraction between two objects, atoms or stars, is directly proportional to the product of their mass and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between their centers. So we're only interested in distances here. So if you have two objects that are this far apart and they're going to feel a certain amount of tug, but if you move them double apart, you're not going to feel one half the tug you're going to feel one quarter of the tug. And should you move in half the distance, you're not going to feel twice the tug, but four times the tug. Inverse square, right? Got it? So, by figuring out how fast you're accelerating, and if you know your masses, you can tell how far you are away from the object. Now, that's the inverse square law. So, let's say the Earth were a hockey puck. This shape. Well, that would mean that, let's say it's 4,000 miles to the inside. If you're way out here, you'd feel the force of attraction a quarter. And if you were somehow halfway inside, you'd feel it four times. Well, out here on the edge, you would feel the normal acceleration. But on top here, this is halfway in. You'd feel four times the acceleration as well. If you're out on a corner here and you drop it, it's not going to fall straight down it's going to fall at an angle towards the center. Anywhere here is now at an angle towards the center. So, when you're talking about a spherical planet, people are betting that everywhere it's the same 9.8 meters per second per second everybody feels, so we're all the same distance away from the center, and that anything that falls goes 90 degrees straight down. So, it's as easy to prove a non-spherical or a flat Earth by simply finding one spot on the planet where the acceleration is not 9.8 meters per second per second about and where things don't fall at 90 degrees and you win.